Okay, mm -hmm. so let's get straight into the entertainment news. So YC calls out former label boss. Nigerian rapper YC has accused his former label boss and CEO of Tiny Entertainment, Demile Arokodare, aka Small Tiny, of not paying artists. Small Tiny recently shared an Instagram post celebrating 100 million plus streams, but didn't attribute the success to any artist. This led to YC taking to his Instagram page to rant about the boss of his former label which was home to acts like YC, Dakwa Tuberna, Damilari and Bella Alubo. YC wrote, before I start, I would first like to apologize to every one of you all that I hold in high regard because I've tried my possible best to not let my social media be used as a point of negativity or conflict, but I've been left with no choice. The rapper and singer then continued, the CEO of Tiny Entertainment, took to his Instagram page yesterday to show gratitude for 100 million plus streams across all platforms. Let it be known to the general public that not a single dime generated from those streams got into the pocket of any of the artists responsible for the content that generated those streams. And to all that have made a congratulatory comment on the post, the only thing the CEO is grateful for is the fact that he has yet again seemingly gotten away with the profiting of other people's uh, was that again sweat like he has been well known to do so many times in the past he ended the rant by adding before anyone asks her why i'm doing this it is simply to protect any other artist from suffering the same fate and falling into the hands of the manipulative and delusional human being thank you in the comment section wise's former label maids bella alubaru so proud of you does this mean the she seconds what Twice he said. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that Jinx. was a very long rant. Yeah. yeah, yeah, a very, very long rant. <laughs> and this isn't the first time that um, YC is calling out the tiny entertainment guys. Yeah. Um, he's, he's done that in the past via Twitter. He's done on social media in the past. Um, crazy stuff. But, so normally it would feel like ah, YC is making noise again. But then for um, Bella Lubot to have written that, then maybe there's some truth to what he was saying. Mm -hmm. And maybe we should be looking deeper into the matter and not just feeling like every time someone runs, they're just making noise. Mm -hmm. But you know, cause you only hear one side and the other person is choosing to be quiet. Yeah. Doesn't mean that, um, the, doesn't mean that the other person is the bigger person. Doesn't mean that the other person is right. Sure. It just means that he has chosen to speak up and he keeps talking about it. So it also makes us think, look, Maybe there is some truth to this. Um, he feels really slighted, and this isn't the first time. Like I said, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. Mm, um, I'm just glad that he's, you know, he has his own label now, and hopefully things are looking up yeah. for him. I mean, the way I see it, there's no smoke um, without, there's no fire without smoke. Mm. There's no smoke without fire. There's no smoke without, no smoke without <laughs> fire. Yeah, and obviously, you know, this is not the first time that we're hearing of issues between an artist and a record label. So mm. I believe that there is some truth to it, and I believe that. Um, Sometimes most of these things happen because of that, you know, hunger, that passion to yeah. want to sing. And again, we're going to talk about contracts like we always do. Maybe not fully understanding your contracts, maybe not even writing any contracts in the first place. So that's where you um, end up giving out your royalties and things that are actually attributed to you or it's your right, you know, because of this passion and because you just want to blow, you know, these things happen. So, I mean, yes, if this is true, um, Tiny shouldn't be doing this, but like I also s would always see, keep saying, and I'm happy that YC is coming forward if it is a true allegation to state that, yes, yeah, so you, it's good to be hungry, it's good to be passionate, but be careful about where you're putting your talent in because you should actually be rewarded for your talent. So, yeah. And it's I thought it was weird issue. that like he just, he just put up 100 million plus streams, Tiny and Tim, and he didn't even tag anyone. He didn't, and obviously that's, I mean, I'll raise an eyebrow because I know YC's juice alone was on that label and YC's juice is arguably top, like maybe two or three mm. of his most popular songs. Mm. Of course you have Omar Alaji and you have Jagaban, which broke him out. And I know those three songs did really, really well um, online as well. So I feel like, maybe, so it, it makes you see that maybe they aren't cool for him not to have yeah. tagged him 
or tag other people on honest, the labor or two burner. Hey, only low any goddamn time. Like that to also be honest, well. is a reorientation of things. Some yeah. people feel like I have the rights to your stuff because I gave you the platform. Right. I shot this music video for you. I provided money for you. You know, some deals comes with cars and houses and stuff like that. You don't really know the full story as we are saying. You know, some of these deals, you, you sign a deal of like six years that comes with uh, an apartment, that comes with a car, that comes with some allowance every month. And they feel like, yo, I gave you this thing, so it is my right. So I feel like there has to be reorientation on both sides of, of, the, hmm. of the stick, yeah, for the record label guys and also for the artists. So it's good that we keep speaking up about this over and over again till hopefully we stop talking about it and there's a solution. Okay, so people know that when you have a record label and then you have other people on the record label, whether you're cool or not, it is just professional that you attach your names to it when you're being successful. And I think that, um, you know, to be a team or to even be a leader in the first place, you can't, you know, exclude other people from what you have achieved because those people to help you yeah. in getting to where you got to. <laughs> and don't I, see it that way. And <laughs> I think, again, that, um, you know, for Bella to have come out, we have different personalities. So some people can you know they have the guts to go all out mm. and you know <laughs> drag things or say stuff that, that, that hurts them and some people don't have the guts so they would rather just be behind and be <laughs> supporting and be cheering yeah. the person like i'm so proud yeah. of you yeah. so i think for her to have even said that maybe mm. there are some truths to what yc has said and uh, yc that we know when you look at him like you look at his personality too you know that um, yc does not really and he said it that he doesn't even like to use this platform for negativity yes, and i think he's so. that person who does not really like trouble as such you know mm. he's just so calm like that i've known yc since god knows when like uh, so many years ago he was still in school i mean it was oh, wow. just so calm like right, that right, so you right, can right. you can imagine yeah. so I, I mean when it comes to this record label thing on the artist side we're always blaming the artist then we're always i think that there are just two sides uh, yeah. story yeah. so he yeah. would have his side and tiny two would have uh, yeah. his own side but i think that if nothing was hurting him it wouldn't even have come out to say anything Hmm. All right, guys, moving swiftly along to our next story. Femi Otedola to take over Majek Fashek's hospital bills. Nigerian billionaire Femi Otedola is said to have taken over Nigerian music legend Majek Fashek's hospital bills. According to reports, the benevolent uh, businessman decided to foot all the medical bills for the reggae music icon who has been admitted at a London-based hospital. Majek's manager, Uzoma Umenka, confirmed this in a statement, and I quote, We really appreciate him for coming through and taking care of the hospital bills. It's a huge relief and we're grateful. We, however, still need more support from well-meaning Nigerians to take care of other expenses. This latest development is coming days after Uzoma Umenka debunked the claims that the reggae music icon was dead. Hmm. Yeah, ah, we oh did my goodness. hear that story yes. and we were really sad about it. So I'm happy to hear that at least there is hope for better health for him. And I'm very glad that um, Femi Otodela is helping out with yeah. the bills. That's a very good one. And um, <laughs> I, I think Nigerians sometimes have problems because I still saw some comments saying that why is he showing it off or why is he telling the world about it and i've just got tired i'm like why do you pick a problem with every single thing that somebody does oh my they're gosh. on instagram oh can you imagine somebody calling him um a cloud chaser i was very confused <laughs> okay so that thing when grown men are on instagram with <laughs> yeah, you so, you just know that you like, stop in short like I this i think when it comes to the nigerian issue we shouldn't be bothered because even if we have the best presidents that other people can yeah. see that this is the good president nigerians will still complain no, so let us just coming, move it. i mean no it's just a, a thing it's, it's just a complaining a culture yes it's just a thing and i think that because um you know we still need exposure because people are not exposed and they just find themselves on uh, certain platforms and so they misuse those platforms Forms. So let's move away from but that. I think um, oh. Nigerians, humans are forever insatiable. Like you do yes. one and they're like, ah, you do not, you're tackling corruption, eh, cool stuff. We are never satisfied. You're not tackling never. security. I would, I would agree with the human beings thing you're saying as being insatiable. But here's the thing, I'm really specific about Nigerians, not because I'm trying to jab us, but because I even saw a Twitter from a Ghanaian the other day saying they should leave Twitter for us that were the queen and kings of savagery. <laughs> it's becoming a way of identifying Nigerians. I do, I do How agree savage though. Are you? Like we're going to stereotype Nigerians uh, that's okay, Nigerians are just insatiable like number one. All right, so moving away from that, I love what Femi Otedola is doing. Yes. I love the fact that, yes, he has the money and then he's a philanthropist and he's just helping people. This is not the first time we would be yes. hearing this. Yes. The other time, the Nollywood actor, he helped. People, uh, RMD reached out to him and he helped. Yeah. And now he's helping 
yes. Jack Fashek again. Uh, yeah. This is just so good. Oh, and again, I'm going to go back to, uh, you know, hot, um, everybody in Nigeria looking into, you know, because anybody can be sick. Anybody can fall ill. Anybody can take ill at any point. So I'm just saying that, you know, this thing of when people get to a certain stage, they have worked so hard and then they can't foot the bills themselves. They are always looking for. And in, in, in that, you know, process, the person might die. The person might just pass on like that. So I'm saying, you know, for future, because it can be anybody. Are we just going to be here and be complaining and be talking about this every mm. time? You know, when you have worked so hard and you get to a certain point, this is not even about, you know, going bankrupt or anything. I am just saying here that there are so many times that people have worked hard. They have not spent yeah. their money uselessly and they can't still foot the bill when yeah, anything it's happens quite, to it's them. Quite an and it's, it's thing. so unfortunate. Well, it's very, we're very glad that people like Femi Otedola have come out mm -hmm. to help. All right, we're just going to move on to another story. Kevin Spacey's sexual assault accuser dies. Now, the lawyer for the male massage therapist who accused American actor Kevin Kevin Spacey of sexual assault has confirmed the death of his client. Now he stated, and I quote, his untimely death was to his family a devastating shock that they are struggling to process and it's still so recent that they have not even held his funeral service. Now you recall that in September 2018, the therapist filed a lawsuit as John Doe in California accusing Kevin Spacey of forcing him to do unthinkable things during a massage session two years ago. Now, though the therapist who remains unknown to this day was ordered to reveal his identity to his actors, to the actors and his attorneys, a judge allowed it to remain confidential in future proceedings. Now, Kevin Spacey, who has been investigated in London and Los Angeles over several allegations, has been accused by more than a dozen men of sexual misconduct. Mm. I mean, this one is another... <laughs> let's say sad news, mm -hmm. you know, um, the, mess, the massage therapist who was accusing him of sexual misconduct um, passed away yeah. a couple of days ago. And um, I was reading up more about it and found out that they actually pleaded with the attorneys, Kevin Spacey's attorney, saying that we don't want the death notice to come out. We want to give the family proper time to grieve mm -hmm, and mm -hmm, hold the funeral mm -hmm. service until we can declare. Because once they declare to the courts, then the estate has to take on the, the proceedings. Yes, it can't yes, be yes. the the guy, the, you know, the deceased anymore. And they didn't agree. They went on to declare it, meaning that they are now just, they are planning the funeral service and they're also planning on opening up his estate so they can keep fighting. So there was a disregard for their pleas and for their wishes. And um, it makes me very sad to feel like over a dozen men have come out to talk about this and I, I just feel like why is it that when some people are in positions of power they misuse it so blatantly thinking that there's no repercussion for this and the only response that we have solidly gotten from him was a YouTube video where he seemed to be denying it and I just feel like most times it comes to a place, a, a height of, you know, stardom that you forget that you're a human being because how are you doing this constantly to your crew members and all? But there is a silver lining to this story because I read that when he was on set of House of Cards, um, they actually have an anonymous uh, complaint uh, system where as a crew member, you can send in your complaints. Yeah, 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 so yeah. I thought that was a very good idea because I was wondering, like, how do we stop these things from happening, especially yeah. in a place like Nigeria where the legal system is not as tight? Okay, so um, one, th one thing straight off, this, these are still allegations mm -hmm. and... Um, or accusations, whatever you want to call it. Same thing with R. Kelly. Um, you know, there's still accusations until we can finalize that truly did it. It's hard to prove sexual assault, especially like the first one that came out was when he was still in the House of Cards and then he took that yeah. opportunity to come out as gay and, you know, talked about how it was years ago, I think in the 1980s or so, mm. they were partying and mm. he groped him or something like that. So it's hard to prove sexual assault and I really feel bad for people who are involved and genuinely yes. went through yes. that because especially when you don't have the, um, you're not brave enough to speak at the yes. time. And then you come out to speak years later and they're like, why didn't you talk since? But it's like, I just mustered up courage. And then when someone speaks and then other people take that opportunity yeah, to come to out, join. I will stand behind you. This happened to me as well. This is the same thing with the um, Pastor Biedno Fato Yimbo thing. Yeah. So um, I really hope this gets sorted. I love the structure that um, exists in other parts of the world um, because even though the person is dead, this, the case doesn't end there. It yes. continues. Yes. So we'll see how things unravel. Eh? Okay, so I'll just say that uh, people and celebrities 
celebrities and people who are aspiring to be big or anybody, mm -hmm. or just anyone, should just borrow a leaf from this and know that, see, yeah, we've seen the Bill Cosby's case, we've yes. seen R. Kelly, we've seen... So you don't want to... You don't want everything that you've worked for to just go down do the drain. Him, yeah. So while you are being good at what you do uh, with your craft, be good in and out, as a person. you know, as a person. Yeah. Do not do this. Do not even use your position that, oh, because you now have fame or you have power at your disposal, so you can be using it anyhow. And it goes to telling the lecturers too, and people, just yeah. anybody, anywhere, to just Some be good. People, just small power. You just went to a restaurant to eat. Waiter, come. <laughs> come. Yeah. That's how it come. starts. Come. Like, <laughs> come. <laughs> so whatever you're doing, especially when you're in a top yes. position, conduct your business yes. properly. properly. Don't think it was consent. If it's not a blatant consent mm. situation, then it's not. And we can't take away the fact that people lie, especially in other climes. Yes. America, yes. you're yes. big. They just yes. want to drag you down. So yes. somebody just cooks a story about you and all that. But in all you do, be sure to be transparent. Mm. Exactly. You're, you're right about people Nothing. lying, but mm. there's some things that are patterns. When 20, over 20 mm. people come out to complain, Mm. then you have to look into mm. it so yeah. yeah it has both sides to it all right but fingers Not said, crossed. guys about that that's it on the entertainment news for today it's time for our celebrity birthday shout outs celebrating today are the following people media ceo and popular blogger linda ikeji is celebrating her guess what 39th birthday today. Wow. Happy she looks amazing. Birthday. She, does. she has achieved so much. I really, really wish her a very happy birthday. She has achieved so much, yeah. but she feels, I feel like I've seen her the happiest now that she has a son. Yeah, yeah Like, yeah, I yeah. feel that, that genuine happiness. I know, remember the time when she, you know, said other things, all her other achievements, but she seems really happy this year. I'm so happy about that. All righty. Also celebrating today, British Nigerian grime artist, rapper, record producer, and music video director, Skepta. It's 37 today. Okay, so can we say yeah. our own Skepta? Yes, we can say yeah, our, we can our own Skepta. Our own <laughs> <laughs> because they always put in the British thing before. And I wonder, why would you say British Nigerian? Why can't you say Nigerian no, British? No, we can't claim him. We can't claim him. found fame in England, you guys. You know, because these exactly. things are just like this. Even when they <laughs> refer to people who have come back to settle in Nigeria, they still go, American, Nigerian. And I'm like, no! <laughs> but she is Nigerian French, so yeah. that that's okay for you. That's okay. <laughs> All right, guys, also celebrating today, American actress Sana Lathan is 48 today. And you might remember her from films like Love and Basketball in 2000, Brown Sugar in 2002, Sugar. The Family That Prays in 2008. She's she, in the black community as well, especially. Yes. Mm -hmm. She's done a lot of movies. Yeah. So happy birthday to you guys and to everyone celebrating today. And I have a special birthday shout out to one of our ardent, avid viewers. His name is Josh, Aww. and his mom is celebrating Aww. her birthday. Happy birthday! birthday. birthday. <laughs> oh my gosh, to so everyone celebrating today, we say happy birthday, we love you, and we wish you the very best. Up next is Rewind. Take a look to find out some major events that happened in the world of entertainment on this very day.